Hello guys, how are you doing? Yes, we got a we got to look into some Twitter stuff, some different charts from the people that I follow on Twitter. And yes, as always, guys, if you want more detailed stuff from me, Substack is the place to be. And um, and yeah, I will also go through just a little bit of a you know daily scoreboard action here just to see where we are on the weekly. There's definitely some something moving here, gold and silver, copper, and and. Uh, and so on. But first, but first, we gotta gotta check the amount of stocks here that I have found for you. That I found interesting here. They are two days old, so so keep that in mind here. Uh, this is oil here. We had a reaction from the red zone. You can see here caution. Um, now watching the B banner MAs to see if we get the confirmation or not, or we sit. Uh, on the support lines of oil and XLE. You can see here we have uh, some rising wedges and so on. And yes, definitely oil is at a big level here. I think it's sitting at around, we can check it actually. Yeah, okay, 82, the big one, the big 82. So it makes sense there for oil to really make up its mind there. It's a big one too. It has broken out. It could be a false breakout. It could be resumption. So, so we shall see here. Tavi Koster. Tavi Costa, we have here Dr. Copper appears to be morphing into Dr. Green revolution and onshoring. Uh, the metal uh, the metal price looks to be gearing up to a follow of gold for a massive breakout. To emphasize uh, what I've said before, I've never seen a secular bull market in gold that didn't cause other metals to follow. This one is important, guys. Gold has broken, I think, roughly three, four months ago. It gold broke out and I, I agree with, with the tabby that gold lift all boats when it comes to commodities metals so we're talking silver obviously copper platinum palladium all that good stuff tin iron it doesn't matter you can see here we have basically like a ceiling we have these three highs here for copper and a cup and handle play here uh, we were watching that you know big four dollars down to three and a half if we broke below the three and a half, that was very bearish. We broke to the upside and copper is now looking incredibly strong. Incredibly strong here. This is UUU, so that is energy fuels. Today's candlestick pattern is intriguing, especially at its alliance with the crucial support level. You can see it coming across all the way there at roughly roughly 5.7. Uh, UUU has been lagging quite a bit here compared to the other uranium uh, stocks, but you can see you know, the Elliott wave here, trend line coming across there. On top, we are at the lows. I would assume we have a huge daily RSI here if we were to put that on also. So we are we are observing a hammer candle formation at this key level right here. Again, this is uh, this is two days ago. So basically, we've had two trading days since. So I have no idea where we are, by the way. Um, uh, this setup is worth following. Uh, through to see if we lead, if we lead to a bounce here. So yeah, you, you, you. I have a longer term chart that looks really good for for energy fuels and uh, but yeah, we are definitely at the end of this move in my view. The bottom is more close to than than even, than a potential top here really. Um, I think you, you, you will surprise many, even though it has been very disappointing, at least for the past eight months, six months or so at least. It didn't really follow through here in, in summer 2023. Gold Ventures here. Did you know, this is a great one, by the way. Did you know Silver Squeeze 2.0 is exactly the symmetry of Squeeze 1, Silver Squeeze 1? Uh, patient, patient, uh, patience is the art of war. The East, this is China, waited exactly two years from the bottom to make their move. Now 1.4 billion Chinese citizens are buying silver. Uh, in China, crypto is outlawed. Imagine the consequences. This is a buying wave without an end. So you can see here, silver squeeze there. Perfect symmetry, the bottom to the, that's just fantastic, right? Also, if you can find the chart where it looks at, I think it's the LME, uh, you know, silver stocks, how much they have in their warehouses. Ever since silver squeeze, you know, 1.0, if, if we can call it that, it has been draining slowly, but surely. So silver, so people saying that the silver squeeze was a huge failure. I have, I'm, I'm in the other camp. It has been a huge success, and it has, it has woken many people. So, 
great here. This is I'm not a perma uh, perma bull because I post uh, I post bullish big picture commodity charts or a gold bar because I'm bullish gold in a resumed secular bull market. No, commodities are simply in a new super cycle since four years ago. We all know what happens four years ago, March 2020. Just trying to tell people to get on the bandwagon. Um, huge falling wedge here, the CRB index in relation to the Dow. So basically commodities against the US stock market. This is, if anyone, you, uh, if you know, you know, just a little bit technical analysis. This is a very, you know, bullish setup here. False breakout usually leads to a move in the other direction in favor of commodities. Thank you. Gold ventures here. Gold ventures. Uh, this week has been calm. Uh, emo the calm before the storm. We had some profit taking. That's totally fine. We've came from eight to twelve. That's fifty percent in in like two months or so. Fantastic. Um, and some back testing going on. Yep, a lot of the charts are back testing its breakout, looking extremely constructive here. Next week, next week will be interesting in the mining sector of the Silj. Basically, a big breakout has occurred here. We have taken out the previous two highs here, and we're retesting both the trend line and the the horizontal level there at 10.10.6. Fantastic. Silver miners will do very well. Depending on the overall market, if it really starts to crash, eh, maybe you should. It might delay it a bit. Um, uh, um, the end the end result is the same in my view. Again, here the be the beginning of the end for Nvidia. Jim Kramer here, and so it begins. The man I call Da Vinci, our uh, resistance man, and a guy with an Nvidia dog tag. So again, a lot of you know coverage, a lot of media attention here. Again, you know, everyone is on board, and that is a mega, really a a a, a bad candle there breaking down. Huge volume, getting below the volume node here, and the big volume comes in. Yep, you guessed it, roughly five hundred. So we. It seems like, again, nothing is certain, but it seems like we have had a major breakdown here again. Uh, we still you know at a very lofty prices, so there are still there are still dip buyers coming in. Uh, if they succeed, then maybe we, yeah, we shall see what happens there. Bar chart here, mega cap tech stocks has seen nearly all of their year to to date gains wiped out in a single week. This is the um, the daily chart. These are five candles taking out everything else. You know, a trend is changing when you have, you know, in this case, five candles basically taking out a hundred candles uh, prior to it uh, and engulfing them. So that's a big one here. I do expect a bounce. Um, again, here nothing goes in a straight line, and we have had a massive selling here. Um, so maybe we will see a technical bounce uh, in the next week here. Brandon here. I leave this chart here. Uh, have a great weekend, folks. Again, tech versus commodities, just like the previous chart that we looked at, you know, the big falling wedge. Tech, I mean, um, I've said it, you know, in, in 2020, 2021, 2022, three, and now also 2024. This decade is for, you know, for commodities to to really do its thing here. Uh, that's my, my firm belief, and it, it still is. Silver, this is Jay Hinster here. He posts a lot of great charts, as always, very simply. We have the breakout here. Um, we tagged roughly 30, and then we stopped here a bit, but again, we have done the big stuff here. You can also add a trend line from here all the way down. So even the 10-year, excuse me, the 15-year trend line is broken to the upside. Silver, again, people... Still laugh at silver, but I'm pretty sure they'll get surprised of what started two months ago. Rashad here. I will not go into any of, of what he's saying here. You can read it yourself or find the tweet, but just I want to show you the simplicity of a chart here. Simplicity is not bad. If anything, it's actually quite good here. One line on a chart basically describing, you know, the past one year uh, price action here on the weekly, uh, higher high retesting that high and now we're resuming again here sometimes guys or very often keep it simple same thing uh, same thing here uh, gold uh, on a shorter term time frame obviously but again just a uh, a triangle here you know 
uh, formation and we have the momentum to the upside and we are basically going sideways here, which, which means that the odds favors a move further higher. Again, it could break down and all that, but I'm just wanting to show you again, sometimes one or two lines, that's all you need. That's really all you need here. Same thing for silver. Again, we had that big um, kind of short-term blow off top thingy. Um, but this looked a lot like gold when gold did that mega move. Uh, I think it was a Monday morning. Uh, was, it, was it in, in December? I think it was. You know, we had this big spike crashing down and then we went sideways and then we went higher. The price action is very similar, by the way. Uh, but this is on a shorter time frame. The other one was on a bigger one. So that's it. Some great charts there. Uh, very quickly, guys. Um, just want to show you here some... This is silver, the 15-year-long the trend line that we talked about. That's very, very, very often the, the big deal. That's the, that's the real deal here, uh, breaking out of such formation. It doesn't matter if it's silver, tech, gold, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Technically, this is a beauty from another dimension here. Yeah, that, that was the spike that I talked about here. I want to show you. I really want to show you. Uh, that spike there on gold, and then we went sideways, right? Similar to what we've seen on, on, on silver here, short term. And then obviously everything just went north since there. So I think silver, if silver takes up 30, we will see 50 in the summer. Um, yeah. The reason is also one of the most important charts, the gold to silver ratio. Look at gold to silver ratio. Again, we have seen many attempts but again, the more you knock on this steel door of a trend line or trending, you know, channel here, as soon as we have a weekly close, in my view here, roughly, let's move it down there, depending on anything between 82.6 and 81.7, that's when things get really, really, really out of hand here. Right now, we are going sideways. That's bearish. And then we, I think this is, we are close. All this is happening while the Dixie, the dollar, is breaking out against every other currency, basically. Um, and you have gold outperform the Dixie right now. That's incredible. Uh, in my view, a very strong Dixie right now and gold outperforming the Dixie, the dollar, means, from my knowledge, a currency crisis is right here, right now. Nothing more, nothing less. What else do we want to see here? Let's look at oil here. There it is, you know, the... The information that we looked at here, we can also add it here. So maybe you, depending on where you align the charts, you know, it, it, yeah, we are, but we are at resistance here coming, excuse me, we are at uh, support here coming across. So we shall see what happens to oil, really. Um, it is very, it's a mix of bullish setups and bearish setups. So we shall see who wins um, the battle there. Um, I'm going to show you maybe XLE here just at the end of it. You can see these 2022, 23 tops there breaking out retesting. Again, if you were to have a like a one line here, you have it straight across there. Breakout retesting uh, looks really, really good for the energy. Um, copper, we briefly touched on copper here. This was my $4 level. And this was the 3.5. Basically, we started to ping pong here. Breakdown there would have been really bearish. Break up about four, really bullish. And now we sit at four and a half. Copper looks really good. Really, really, really good. So I think that's all, guys. This was like a broader view of, of the markets. Uh, very briefly. There, there, are more, there is more to go into. Um, but again, if, if you want the, the more detailed stuff, Substack, guys, check it out. Have a, um, have a great weekend wherever you are and uh yeah stay safe guys bye